Hey guys, welcome back. In last lecture, we got together a little information about dynamic programming. In this lecture, we're going to discuss how we can identify if a problem is a candidate for dynamic programming. So let's jump straight to the test points. First is, if you're given a problem which can be broken down into smaller subproblems, and these smaller subproblems can still be broken into smaller ones, and if you find that there are some overlapping subproblems. Next point is if it is an optimization problem. Or you can say if problem demands for optimal solution. With optimal problems or solutions, you see terms like shortest, longest, minimized, maximized, least, most, fewest, greatest, biggest, smallest, etc. And the optimal solution of subproblems can be used to form the optimal solution of original problem. So these are the main points to identify if a problem can be solved using dynamic programming. So always judge the problem on these points to find out if it is a candidate for dynamic programming. So this was all for this lecture. See you guys in next lecture.